dear students welcome to the next session on your first lesson the gentleman of the jungle i have told you how this man who is the real gentleman of that forest wanted justice in his favor because he was only expecting impartial judgment from that commission of inquiry but this man was not happy because his name what was not included in that commission of inquiry and how can he expect such type of judgment from this commission of inquiry i am elder apnakar lecturer in english welcome you to this class on the same lesson when the high minister mr elephant had appointed only animals in that the commission of inquiry further he was told that definitely he is going to get back his lost hut from this commission of inquiry these are the cruel animals and they know how to cheat this man the innocent man who is very kind and up towards all these animals look at the given picture in the next page on page number 4 there is a hut up of this man and all the animals have accommodated in his hut there is a chairman of this commission of inquiry mr pox and beside him there is mr leopard who is the secretary of that commission of inquiry and all the elder animals are sitting in his hut but the real owner of that hut is sitting outside of this hut this picture signifies how these animals have that imperialistic attitude in their behavior and in their nature because of their killing nature cruel nature they do not share their instinct actually basic instinct with other animals when the king of the forest has appointed a commission of inquiry this man was not happy because no animal was included by his side neither his name was included in this commission of inquiry but he was told that he was not enough educated that means these white people or the europeans are superior they are enough educated to understand everything like these animals they understand everything especially the laws of the jungle and because of his backwardness they have considered that this man is uneducated person he is an illiterate person and he can't understand anything of that jungle law but however man waits for his turn after hearing the sweet words of this king of the forest immediately the commission shot in his own hut to take the evidence the right honorable mr elephant was first called in the coming of this elephant came with a superior air thinking that definitely he is going to get that hurt from this man he has that imperialist attitude in his coming brushing his tusks with the sapling which mrs elephant has had provided him there he has brushed his tusks with a kind of sapling sapling means a kind of herb which had provided by his wife that is mr mrs elephant and in an authoritative voice said to them like this because he knows that he is the one of the high ministers of that animal kingdom definitely he is going to get the hut by his side he told all these animals gentlemen of the jungle there is no need for me to waste your valuable time in relating a story which i am sure that you all know about this matter that means all these animals might know the matter 
the incident of that forest i don't want to waste your time but uh, i have always regarded it as my duty to protect the interest of my animals just look at the lie of this animal here he says that it is his sacred duty to protect the interest of his friends and this appeared to have caused the misunderstanding between myself and the man here later it says that due to the misunderstanding between us it has caused this incident has caused later it lies to this commission of inquiry he has invited me to save his heart from being blown away by this hurricane by this huge rain with torrential rain this man has invited me to save his heart if i sit in his heart definitely i am going to protect the heart as this hurricane had gained access owing to the unoccupied space in his hut when i came to his hut there was a little space but i have occupied gaining access to the unoccupied space that means he complains that there was no enough place for me but i have occupied that small place in his hut as this hurricane gained access owing to the speed i considered it necessary in my friend's own interest to turn the undeveloped space to a more economic use by sitting in it and myself later it says that i have occupied the space and i have protected his hut as well as his interest in order to turn the undeveloped space to a more economic use later it says that i have used that little space for more economic use there was not enough space but uh, i sat there and it is my duty to protect his interest which any of you would uh, undoubtedly have performed the equal readiness in similar circumstances if you are there in this situation definitely you are going to protect the interest of this man he narrates such a type of pal story before this commission of inquiry in the next piece after hearing the right honorable mr elephant's conclusive evidence when all the members of this commission of inquiry heard everything from this elephant's evidence the commission called mr haina this is also one of the elder animals of that animal kingdom and all the elders of the jungle who all supported what mr elephant had said because they know that this elephant is one of the high ministers they don't want to raise their voice against this animal and they have supported whatever mr elephant had stated before this commission of inquiry then they called the man all these members knew that the man is the real owner of that hut but uh, these animals want to occupy want to take away that hut from him there after hearing that means they should call all these evidences after the opinion of this man but before that only they had called him they had called the animals then they called the man this man helplessly goes there and when he began to give his own account of the dispute suddenly the commission of inquiry cut him short saying like this the man is not allowed to speak anything in his favor there and immediately one of the members cut his speech saying like this my good man please confine yourself you please cut yourself to the relevant issues because we know what was the matter that is why it is better to cut your speech we have already heard the circumstances from various unbiased sources we had already heard 
the two witnesses and they had supported the elephant's statement now we don't want to hear this kind of unbiased source from you all we wish you to tell us whether the undeveloped space in your hut was occupied by anyone else before mr elephant assumed his position then they ask him only they ask him only one question that before this elephant came to your hut whether the space in your hut undeveloped space in your hut was occupied by anyone else before this elephant came to your hut the man began to say no like this again he was cut short by these members but at this point the commission declared that they had heard sufficient evidence from both sides and retired to consider their decision before giving his statement the commission of inquiry told him that we had heard sufficient evidence from both sides actually they had heard only sufficient evidence from elephant's side not by man's side here and finally they came to their conclusion or their decision after enjoying a delicious meal at the expense of a right honorable mr elephant they reached their verdict on the previous day all these members had enjoyed the delicious party a grand party was hosted by this elephant in order to get their judgment in his favor there and finally they have reached their verdict then they called this man and declared their statement like this in our opinion this dispute has arisen through a regrettable misunderstanding due to the backwardness of your ideas in their verdict these members scolds the man for his mistakes there this dispute this kind of quarrel has been arisen through a regrettable misunderstanding due to your backwardness of your ideas that means you are not enough educated to understand and you are not enough educated to understand the rules of this jungle forest here and you have not protested that means protected the race as well as the interest of these animals and because of this misunderstanding we consider that mr elephant has fulfilled his sacred duty of protecting your interest as one of the high ministers who has performed his sacred duty and he had protected your hut as well as your race and later they said that it is clearly for your good that a space should be put to most economic use in your hut it is your duty you have to give a space to that elephant when you had called that elephant to your hut but the elephant has used that little space for most economic use as you yourself had not reached the stage of expansion you are the only man we know that you are kind and accommodative but you have not reached that level to expand the animal kingdom in your forest and you would enable to fill it it is your duty you have to enable to reach to that stage of expansion of these animal kingdom and we consider it necessary to arrange a compromise to suit both of the parties later they told him that we have made a necessary arrangement this arrangement definitely going to suit both of the parties now they announce us their they announce their judgment here mr elephant shall continue his occupation of your hut finally they had given their judgment in favor of this elephant only the elephant will continue his occupation of your hut but he will be given a permission to look for a particular site or a place where you can build another hut more suited to your basic needs now the elephant will take the possession of this hut now you will get a chance and you can look for a particular site or a place where you can build another hut 
particular heart that is more suited to your needs and we will see that your interest will be protected in your new heart all the animals had given such type of a false statement against this man who is the real owner <coughs> of this hut was thrown out of his own hut there the man is in that helpless condition he has no alternative there because he is all alone if he opposes the verdict or the judgment of this commission of inquiry definitely he would be killed by these animals he would be killed or attacked by these animals that is why he does not want to he does not want to make it happen there but fearing that his refusal might expose him to the teeth and the claws of the members of this commission of inquiry if he refuses to accept this commission of inquiry definitely the judgment of the commission of inquiry he will be exposed to the teeth the cruel sharp teeth of these animals claws of the members and he might be killed there that is why he has obeyed their order as they have suggested and he did like that but when he goes to that place particular place he looked out for a particular place and where he builds another new hut but as soon as this new hut had seen by mr rhinoceros who is one of the members of that commission of inquiry charged in with his horn lowered and ordered this man to quit the second hut to him there mr rhinoceros followed by this elephant when he this man builds the second hut far away from this place as soon as he completes that hut it was seen by mr rhinoceros who has lowered its horn and ordered this man better to leave this hut because i wants to i want to stay in this hut the man quits the second hut once again he grumbles the same royal commission of inquiry again appointed to look into this matter the remaining lesson i am going to continue in next class thank you